While it may be getting colder, the mosquito threat is still out there. Health officials say someone from Cumberland County has most likely contracted West Nile virus, and officials are warning people that they need to take precautions. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty has more. An adult from Cumberland County has most likely contracted West Nile virus, marking the first case in a Maine resident since 2018. Serve as a reminder that when you're going outside, a great thing to do is to wear long sleeves, long pants, wear mosquito repellents. West Nile virus is a potentially serious disease caused by the bite of an infected mosquito. The Maine CDC says some symptoms include high fever, neck stiffness, tremors, and muscle weakness. I asked Maine CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah if people spending more time outside because of the COVID-19 pandemic increases their likelihood of contracting other diseases like West Nile. If this were a direct function of larger numbers of folks being outside, which is a good thing, we would have seen more and more other such diseases, be they West Nile or some of the other mosquito-borne diseases that are known to affect Maine. Maine CDC says the virus hasn't been detected in any mosquitoes collected so far this year. Chuck Labelzik is a vector ecologist at Maine Medical Center Research Institute. He says the drought is contributing to a low mosquito population. However, uh, where those mosquitoes are present and where, where they have available water uh, in wetlands and in urban areas, uh, they can amplify the virus. Labelzik says a good hard frost kills most of the mosquitoes. There have been a couple of mornings below freezing in the state, but he says it's not enough to eliminate the threat everywhere. Those coastal can be a little milder compared to inland areas this time of year, so the mosquitoes may be hanging on a slight bit in, in those areas. The CDC also says doctors should be aware of symptoms in case someone comes in complaining of them. Rosalind Flaherty, News Center, Maine.